Hello, geography graduate students. My name is Peter Gensinger, and I'm the geography and environmental studies librarian at the Laurier Library. Welcome to the online graduate library research instruction workshop, which is being recorded in the fall of 2021 for Geography 700 and 800. Over the next few videos that I'm putting together in a series, which I will post regularly for you all, I'd like to cover the following topics. And the first topic will be my contact information, as well as the contact information for my colleague over at the University of Waterloo, and her name is Marion Davies. She's the geography subject librarian there. Both Marion and I really welcome your questions about anything to do with library research, and we'll get to that a little further on, but the first thing I'd like to do is show you how you can contact both of us. Then I'd like to move into a discussion of what I'm calling the academic information ecosystem, because it's something that many students aren't really familiar with, but it's very important to know, at least very helpful, I think, and I've had many students say this to me, to know kind of what's going on in the back end when you're doing library research, research in a database. So we'll look into that a little bit. Then I'd like to give an overview of the library system, specifically looking at tips that you should know as a graduate student that will help you in your research. I'd like to then discuss how you might think about creating your own controlled vocabulary for your research and how that can also help in the construction of research strategies as you're starting to get into doing research on your question. And the goal of all of this is to give you a very high level of skills that you can use in your graduate studies, as well as as you move out into your career beyond the university. And you might continue on with further studies, you might not, but we are hoping that this will equip you to not only think about information more critically, but to be able to use various tools that I'm going to show you here in a, in a comprehensive and expert manner. Then I'd also like to get into some specific databases in geography and environmental studies that you really should um, be aware of. And then lastly, a discussion on how to manage your information. To get in touch with me, if you just Google Laurier Geography Librarian, the second link here to Geography and Environmental Studies at the Laurier Library will bring you to the Geography and Environmental Studies subject guide. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see a link that will bring you into a forum that you can fill out to send me an email. Or I'd also like to highlight this link here, book an appointment with me. So you can feel free to send me an email. I usually respond within one business day, but if you book an appointment with me, what will happen, and please feel free to go ahead and do this, this links up to something called a pointlet, which will show you my availabilities in half hour time blocks. This links up to my work calendar. Please feel free to just go ahead and click on a time that's good for you, fill out the required fields. If you can let me know what your topic is that you would like to discuss, that would be great, especially if we're going to be meeting in more than a few days time, because that will give me a little bit of lead time. I can go and maybe do some pre-research preparation for our meeting. And I also will see these notifications in my inbox, and I tend to respond to them very quickly. The other place I'd like to direct you to, if you Google University of Waterloo Geography Librarian, and then third link down will bring you to the Geography and Environmental Management Research Guide. Actually, we'll have to click through to see the guide. And this will also bring you to my colleague, Marion Davies, who's the Geography Liaison Librarian at the University of Waterloo. This will also bring you to her form that you can contact her through email. But I'd also recommend that you take a look at her subject guide because she has got some really good resources, databases that will get you into individual articles, and some other resources here as well. So make sure you take a look at those.